What's up guys? In this episode of the RX-7 project, we're going to be installing a new clutch assembly. We got our ADW90 right here, we got our clutch kit, and we got a gasket kit from O'Reilly's. Got our throw out bearing. So here's the flywheel, remachined thanks to Eric from Prop Life. He hooked it up. And there it is all together. Wow, that's heavy as one piece. Engine training. Pulled part of the exhaust out, pulled the starter out, got a lot of the heat shields out. And now I am draining the transmission from where the speed sensor goes into the transmission or speed cable. Okay, so here's the transmission, it's out. So this is a throw out bearing. See how it's all one solid piece? So I was experiencing a rattle noise. Yeah, here's the old throw out bearing. It had rattled itself apart. It's supposed to be like that. Now that we got the clutch out, my friend David is gonna explain how the clutch system works. Welcome to David's Tech Tip. Today I wanna to talk to you guys about the most important part of a transmission, the clutch. One important part of the clutch is the center hub, which is either sprung or solid. Most clutches have torsional dampening springs, which absorb drivetrain damaging shock from the engine and promote smooth engagement. For a car that is subject to the extreme abuse of racing, a solid hub improves power transfer and eliminates the chance of springs popping out at the cost of day-to-day -day drivability and reliability. Unless your car is track only, or you're running 600 horsepower in Pacific, don't get a solid hub clutch. You will hate it. I promise. That's David's tech tip. Elliot, back to you. David Information Channel をご覧いただきありがとうございます。東日本東京都と西日本京都府の気温は25度ととても過ごしやすい気候となっておりますあ、申し訳ありません間違えました All right, back to working on the RX-7 I have this one at home, the smaller one What? Yeah. Ooh. No, it's not coming out no. Oh, my hand hurts Ladies and gentlemen, we're Ladies. here today with uh, helping Elliot out. We're actually extracting the pilot bearing using a puller. And especially designed since the throw bearing is of a smaller diameter, we can't use the standard puller because it will not fit. So we have to use a special smaller dimensional so it can fit and pull the, the bearing out. You got the dirty engine connected to the nice, clean transmission housing. 
that we just put a new clutch in. When the pedal's released, the pressure plate clamps the clutch. Ah, what? Well, when the pedal. <laughs> <laughs> and eliminates the chance of springs popping out. Oh, I need to redo that one. Okay. I'm trying to get right back in the same spot. Good time? At the cost of day to day driving. driving. <laughs> 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 Oh my god. Oh, this is stressful. What's up guys? In this episode of the RX-7 project, we're going to be installing a new clutch assembly. I messed up on that. Alright, let's do it again. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards.